Hey guys, Rachel Brennan here with Yael Averbush, and we are here at the 2019 New Jersey Youth Soccer Awards Dinner. Welcome! Thank you. It's good to be back. Um, I used to be here as a player a lot of times, but now I'm back as more of an official figure. I don't know if that's Yeah, what I know. <laughs> well, where are you living right now? Uh, back home with my parents in Montclair, as always. In Love them. Things. Great yeah, people, yes. great people. Um, and now you're the keynote speaker. How do you feel about being the keynote speaker? Um, well, I'm actually really excited because I remember always hearing the speeches when I was here as a player and being really inspired and just understanding like the culture of New Jersey youth soccer and how so many players from New Jersey go on to play all over the world. So it's really cool for me to be back in the capacity of the one hopefully sharing a little bit of wisdom with the up and coming players and then seeing where they take their journeys. Yeah, and yael has been awesome with New Jersey youth soccer, playing for UNC. Playing yeah. with Seattle, mm -hmm. where else? KFC. Oh, I've been all over the place. Yeah, all like, over the place. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about your experience with uh, playing. Yeah. So, um, well, since I was at this awards dinner, I, like you said, went on to play college soccer at University of North Carolina, and then afterwards spent a couple years at Sky Blue FC, which is where I started my professional career, which was really exciting to me to be back home. And since then, I've literally, like, I wasn't joking. I've been all over the country, all over the world, playing. I played for Sweden in a year and a half, for a year and a half, Russia. And then I always seem to find myself back in New Jersey, though, no matter where I've gone. So um, I've now completed 10 years as a pro player, which I'm really proud of. But back in New Jersey, and uh, I, like I said, I, this is the, the best place to be for soccer. That's amazing. Now, you have Techni, right? That's how you say it? Yes. Techni. So tell us about Techni and how you're going to use that for New Jersey soccer and for yeah. young athletes. Yeah, so Techni Football is a technical training app where players um, work individually. So it's all the things that... I did over the years that people showed me that other pro players do that basically I credit with allowing me to live my dream and playing at the highest level. So what I've done is kind of created a blueprint for players through this app, because you know everyone's on their phone these yeah. days, <laughs> whether they're playing games or training, they might as well be training. Um, so yeah, and I've worked with a lot of players from New Jersey and actually New Jersey youth soccer a little bit to try to implement the app not only with individuals but for groups, clubs, teams, college teams and uh, I always love with working with working with the New Jersey people so that's why I made it. Amazing you guys should definitely check it out I've nice. checked it out a lot of my friends are part of it um, lastly since you're such a great role model to not only me but to everybody what's the recommendation for our aspiring athletes? Oh, well I appreciate that first of all yeah I think I think the thing is you always have to love and enjoy what you're doing because at the end of the day no matter how elite you are, no matter what your situation is, there are going to be those ups and downs. And the more you love what you do, that's what keeps you going. And I think for all of us who have continued to play over the years, you yeah. know, we yeah. grew up seeing each other like so many times our paths cross. But it's because we love the game so much that we're still here today yeah. talking about it, playing ourselves. And I think you have to have that part. You know, it's a game. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of and course. guys, more to come.